the energy of printmaking, you need to expend energy, but you get such a buzz back from it all too, and suddenly they produce magic, they produce these prints, and it's all so satisfying after all that hard work. So I love teaching printmaking. Um, and printmaking's never lost its magic for me. You have to do all these very strange techniques, and they're quite confusing. Sometimes you have to think in mirror, sometimes you have to think one step ahead, one step behind, you have to separate colours out, tones out. So it's an enormous mental exercise, and it's a lot of physical work, and then you don't know what you're doing, and suddenly you get it on the press, and you pull your print off, and there it is, the magic. You go, wow, it all worked. <laughs> Printmaking in particular allows for experimentation. Students that perhaps haven't got great drawing skills can find their own way of making prints. When somebody st starts, a complete beginner, we show them how to put a ground on a plate, a wax ground, point out other artists that, that are printmakers. So many artists are printmakers. And, you know, we, we do quite traditional methods. We start with dry point and then drawing, say, on, say on a hard ground on an etching plate. Brooke's doing an etching here. We've got a um, piece of zinc with a, with a hard ground on. She's using a metal scriber. And where she makes a line is going to be eaten away in the acid. The closer together the lines, the darker the area, the more heavily bitten. What's great is to be, have this opportunity to be able to work directly from life. I mean, just like Rembrandt would have done, you know, you're drawing, taking off the wax ground. I always encourage people to draw directly onto plates, you know, in a way to sort of demystify this process of printmaking. But it is very much about drawing. And if you love drawing, you know, it's like you know, extending your vocabulary of mark making. We can do the whole process in a day, you know, that they can go away with their first etching. I run the drop-in Saturday workshop which is open to anyone who wants to drop in, but mostly for people with some idea, at least some concept of what they want to do. In an ideal world, the, the, the students who, who come would have the same interests as, as I do, but it's, you know, one has to be a bit more flexible and is open really to all comers, from people who haven't done any printmaking before to those who have some pretty clear fixed idea and with some ability as well. We're drawing with a pencil directly onto an inked up surface, drawing, pressing down to pick up the ink, and also pressing with, pressing with their fingers to pick up this tone. So it's rather nice. You've got the, the pencil line, and you've got the, the effect of the tone where you press with your finger, and you've got the, you get these random marks from where the paper's been pressed onto the ink. But it's a very good way of working to sort of start people off monoprinting with a, having a model in the room and this is another one that's been actually drawn, the pencil drawing is there on the back so the heavier, the harder you press the darker the area it's going to be and then we did, um, these ones are working from dark to light so instead of putting the uh, paper down first the plate is inked up completely black and then we get these painterly marks by taking a rag and um, some solvent and working back. In fact you've then got, you know, this is interesting because it's a mono print, but in fact we often get two copies. Heavenly's has got the ability to do every kind of print you want to do, from the basic monoprints I love, through to all the intaglio processes. We have two etching presses and we can also do um, quite wild etching where we have a rubber blanket so you can even put strange things, textures to the press to make strange collagraphs. You can do straightforward etching, you have a very good etching area. Or you can do lithography on the stone which is very rare now and that's a dying art and it's a very beautiful way to work and especially good for painters to work with lithography. And we have a wood cutting press, a direct press which is a lovely old direct one and got a screen bed as well. So basically that covers printmaking in general, you can do everything here. <laughs>